So we're finally making our very first epic journey out to Korean Costco. Costco! Costco! And we're really excited. Uh, we prepared everything. So here we have my little old lady cart. And we also purchased, these are for recycling, um, but they're really big and they're really, really sturdy. So we have two giant bags, which means we can pile all our Costco goodies in and uh, crawl home with copious amounts of groceries that we we can't fit into our apartments. So we'll uh, show you the rest of the adventure when we get there. All right. Hey, Costco. have a membership card and I have done something for a photo ID that I've wanted to do for a long time my mouth is hanging open just the way I want it but look they cut off my faux hawk I went through such great lengths to get this sticking up and they cut it off in the picture so unfair so unfair oh, so here we are in Costco and uh, we're pretty happy with the whole thing yeah. you can see so far we've got uh, jello and pistachios and a few chips and salsa and uh, there are Many exciting brands you might know, like pork and beans and fruit salad. And then there's lots of Korean stuff as well. So you can do your Korean and your uh, North American shopping all in one go. The only problem is that they don't have ranch salad dressing. And this is a huge letdown for me. That's okay, Simon. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we are in uh, the cheese section and we're very happy. Chris, our friend Chris, our happy friend Chris, uh -huh. uh, just found himself some Parmesan Reggiano. Here's Martina, who's gonna go way over our budget with all these cheeses. Really uh, do you believe in cheeses? We sure do. Yeah, it's really hard to find cheese uh, in Korea and when you do, it's really, really, really expensive. Yeah. yeah. So, by far, our best experience here at Costco has been at the food court. Um, here we have some of the best pizza we've had since we came into Korea, bulgogi pizza. Here we got a chicken bake, and there we got a great hot dog. All of it is absolutely fantastic. Chris is very happy. Here he's yeah. crying at the sight of my pizza. He's been begging me for some for like every single bite. Good for him. And Martina really likes our hot dog. And your clam chowder is... Thumbs up, good, all right. Show the food no? court's different. Anyhow, yeah, so here's the look of the food court. Good luck getting a seat. We had to squeeze in four people in a two-seater. Uh, to try to sit down. It is absolutely packed. People are just eating by the garbage just here because there's nowhere to sit. Um, also, you'll notice all the carts here. People are just lining up the carts because you can't bring them in here. And then as soon as you're done, you're going to have to somehow pull your cart out. And that's how we roll here in Costco. So, we're finally home from our epic Costco adventure. Was it worth it? We'll show you what we got. So, to begin with, look at this. Genoa salami, okay? That may not seem like a big deal to you, but this is a big deal to us, okay? Honey turkey. Huge deal to us. You cannot find cold cuts here. I've really been craving a good old fashioned sandwich. Now what can go better with your sandwich than Colby Jack cheese? Yeah, yeah, delicious Colby Jack cheese. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we've got fresh baked cookies. White macadamia, oatmeal, and chocolate chip. Now, what's amazing about these cookies is that these are soft cookies. They're soft. They bend. You could chew on them. The other one, the other cookies that we usually get are very crispy and hard. They yeah. don't really have soft cookies here in Korea, so we're really happy to find those. And actually, I know why, because butter's really expensive. So if you don't use butter in your cookies, then your cookies will be more crispy. Uh -huh. uh, so people who like soft cookies, it's harder to find in Korea because butter is more expensive. Also, instant oatmeal. I love instant oatmeal for breakfast, can't find it anywhere. I got myself maple flavor, banana flavored, everything. Now we didn't buy them in small packages like that. We had a big box except those two big so we just cut it out and put them in that way. Look at this! Cheddar cheese smoked sausages. Of course you can get sausages in Korea. It's just a new type of sausage to us and we kind of really had a craving for some kind of North American type style sausage. Okay, now 
You can get pistachios in Korea, um, but we've noticed that they're much healthier. They're not salted, which is okay, but we really wanted something unhealthy, covered in salt. So these were uh, salt and pepper flavored Kirkland uh, pistachios. Now you want to know how much these ones cost? You don't want to know how much these cost. You don't want to know how much they cost. <laughs> okay, you also don't want to know this. Dark chocolate coated blueberries. Sure, we're spoiling ourselves, but when's the next time we're going to Costco? Um, Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> a giant bag of Starbucks breakfast blend. Really good deal. This was 21,000 won uh, for a 2.5 pound bag. Normally it's 18,000 won for a half pound. So this was like incredibly, incredibly discounted. And this is whole bean. Okay. Quaker Oats granola cereal. Awesome. Bacon. Oh, bacon. Delicious bacon. Yes, you can buy bacon in Korea, um, but once again, it's much healthier. It doesn't taste very salty. I can't not have salty bacon. <coughs> Organic pineapple salsa. Why pineapple? We don't know, but it's salsa nonetheless. Uh, some of our other videos will tell you about what salsa is like uh, in, uh, in Korea. Kind of tastes more like pizza sauce. Extra crunchy peanut butter. We've been able to find small containers of smooth peanut butter only. Extra crunchy peanut butter. Would it be wrong if I smothered my bacon in crunchy peanut butter and ate it? And this is just good for us. Um, you can get this dog food at any local uh, dog food place, but it's 1,200 won for one. And um, we got this entire package um, for less than 1,000 won per each one. So this is just an extra thing. And last on our list, um, Starbucks double shot coffees. You can also get these in any local Home Plus or E-Mart, except it's much more expensive. So we saved ourselves about 3,000 to 4,000 won uh, for a package of 12, a dozen. So um, that's all we got this time around. I'm sure the next time we'll go, we'll show you more of our uh, spoils, I should say. If you head out to a Costco in Korea, we would love for you to make a response video. Videotape what you got and post it on our site so we can share with the rest of the world what the Korean Costco's have to offer for foreigners. I'm going to make myself a bacon sandwich.